mosquito. Hello Heavy Metal Wellness Masters, I'm Heavy Metal Mama and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, as I've been asked many times, I'm going to do you a wardrobe tour, but I'm not doing you a full at home wardrobe tour because honestly that video would be about eight hours long. I am doing my holiday wardrobe tour. So this is all clothes that I've brought with me to Lanzarote and I brought too many clothes. So, <laughs> but before we get to that, remember to like this video, comment down below to discuss any of the things that come up in the video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and thank you to all of you that already do. Hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload and welcome. So Lanzarote wardrobe tour. I have many things here. I have a drawer full as well and an underwear drawer. I'm not going in that. So the first thing that I brought is this gorgeous Mary Wyatt set. It is a little crop top. I think it's called the Mary Magdalene top. I'm not quite sure, something to do with that. There's something biblical and this gorgeous skirt as well. I'm afraid I don't think either of them are available anymore. I think you might be able to get the top in an extra small in the sale, but other than that, I'm afraid neither of them are available anymore. But running in that vein, I did bring with me the ebony dress, so. This is this gorgeous, it's made of linen. It's absolutely beautiful, a very similar style to this top and skirt. Uh, this one has got uh, like a barbed wire print on the pockets here, buttons down the front, and I will of course give you a full review of all of these items very, very soon. But I thought, yes, I would show you these. I love this top and skirt and this dress. Same thing, but different, but I, I do love that. Okay, let's go for this is a, an older Killstar outfit. Uh, it's like a V-shaped uh, and it's like a pentagram cross front vest with this ridiculously long skirt with this double split down the side and the little eyelets all the way up. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love this outfit. I feel very, very, very sexy in this outfit. I have to wear it with these, the Demonia shoes that I bought. These are the Demonia Wave 103s, I think they are. I got those from Angel Clothing. Of course, review coming of those soon as well. But these are super duper high. They're even higher than the Dynamite Demonia Dynamite Star ones that I have. These are my favourite shoes of all time. These are actually even higher. They are super duper comfortable though. Um, but yeah, that means that I definitely have floor clearance for that skirt. Bearing in mind, if you watch the review that I posted of that, many many moons ago I cut about four inches off the bottom of that skirt. So first of all I have brought my Necessary Evil full length mesh caftan. It is floor length caftan. This thing is great if you're going somewhere and it's super duper hot and you just want something to keep the, the sun off you or to keep you a bit warmer in the evenings this thing is amazing. I love this. This is great for when you're feeling a little bit bloated and you just want to um, cover up that tum-tum but still feel sexy. I really, really like this. I tend to wear this a lot with this Killstar dress, which is, it's got eyelets all down the front. It's like a ribbed cotton. And again, it's got that same double pentagram front there. It's just a really, really nice, beautiful full length dress. And it looks great with that gorgeous Necessary Evil caftan. But the Necessary Evil caftan goes with pretty much everything you know uh, you can wear it just over a bikini and it looks great um, and that's why one of the reasons why mesh is brilliant because it has an extra layer so that if you're cold you can put a la layer of mesh on but you can still see your outfit if you want to keep the sun off you can put the mesh on just dapples the sun stops your skin being pounded by the sun which here in Lanzarote I mean today is a cooler day and it is 27 degrees it's hot especially when you're used to you know 16 in the UK <laughs> Um, I, of course, brought my EMP biker jacket because every girl needs a biker jacket for those cooler evenings. Literally haven't put it on yet, but <laughs> just in case, I'll definitely wear it when we get back to the UK. Um, then I also have my Assassin's Hood because this thing is brilliant. I actually didn't mean to bring this out. I meant to bring my Dungeness hood. I washed the Dungeness hoodie because the Dungeness hoodie's got a, like a handkerchief hem. It goes with quite a few of the other things that I have and I picked up the wrong hoodie when I was rushing for the taxi to take us to the airport. And it was only when we got about two miles out that I was like, I'm in the wrong jacket. But you have to make sure that you have these things. If we go up to Manfea, which is one of the volcanoes here on the island, I will take that with me because it gets really cold because you're at the top of a volcano. Uh, then have this beautiful punk rave 
uh, I suppose it's a cardigan. It, I mean, it's gorgeous. It's ju it's this thing is great. It goes over everything. It looks fantastic with this outfit. Looks fantastic with 95% of my wardrobe. It's a great thin layer to put on things because it's nice and and thin. It covers just your arms, etc. If it's really really sunny and you just want to get the sun really off your skin and the mesh is not thick enough, this one is great. But you do get hot and sweaty in it. But We've got a washing machine here. I've done a lot of washing since we've got here. Because, you know, we have children and they're disgusting. <laughs> this is brand new. This is the Necessary Evil uh, Velvet Hoodie. I don't know what it's called. I will put the name of it there because I'm not sure what it's called, but oh my God, this is beautiful. So it's very similar to the original Necessary Evil Velvet Hoodie, uh, which I think was called the Artemis Hoodie, but I might be wrong. Um, this is basically a longer, more handkerchief hemmed version of it and oh it's stunning, it's absolutely stunning. She just needs to make one in mesh now with the bat wing detail. I, I have drawings so I will <laughs> show her. We all need this. And we've also got one of my Necessary Evil lace up the back hoodies as well with the zip. I mean I don't know why I brought so many hoodies, it's ridiculously hot here. But this is the new Necessary Evil Velvet Hoodie with a front pocket. I basically bought this to wear on the plane. Um, I didn't wear it on the plane here, but I might wear it, put it on on the plane on the way home because it's a good one to stick in your backpack and then you can just get it out when you get cold when you get home because it's always freezing in the UK when you've been here. So this, so we have the Necessary Evil Medina Short Poncho. So this is like a bat wing effect short poncho, this thing is gorgeous it's just it's perfect so i wore this with this is um the kill star pentagram front like skater dress i wore this to the water park when we went to the water park because i could literally put it on top of my bikini um i have like a just from the supermarket black bikini top with um like a bikini bottom that's got a skirt inbuilt into it so i could literally pull this over the top um this kept the sun right off me and then when we were at the water park i literally just took the dress off and kept this on when I wasn't actually in the water and it stopped the sun really burning my shoulders and that kind of thing and it also meant that I could go in the restaurant and I went into the restaurant to get beer um, and it says you have to wear a top but this over my bikini was fine as a top really really like that outfit it's great with like a skull buckle and my skull kill star sandals looks great together really really love that outfit all the skulls all round we love it then we have uh, the kill star caftan I don't know which one this is Again, I will put a link to the video that I originally reviewed this. Um, the Killstar Kaftan, and this is actually a second-hand Killstar dress that I got off of Depop. Um, again, it's the, the ribbed cotton jersey with the pentagram front. Okay, so this is brand new. This is the new Necessary Evil dress. This isn't doing it justice. I will insert some pictures of me wearing it because, oh my God, it's gorgeous. It's short. It's very short. You could wear it with leggings, um, like or cut-offs or cycling shorts, um, or you can just wear it and it'd be short, short, short. Or you could just wear it as a top if you wanted, and um, you know, wear a, a skirt with it if you're one of the taller ladies. Oh, this thing is gorgeous. It's so sexy. We've got long mesh sleeves. We've got these jersey panels here, and then these cut-out bits here, which is so sexy. And then it's super duper short. Love it, love it. There will be, of course, a full review video coming soon. This is the Foxblood. It's like a onesie, let's say, culotte dress. I don't know what you call it, but that's really, really cool. This is so easy to dress up or dress down. You can wear it with um, a pair of flip-flops and a belt, and it looks great. Or you can wear it with a pair of high heels and some fishnets and the punk rave top over the top with some posh jewelry, and you look really, 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 you know, put together. Uh, I also have the fox blood belt that goes with that. That looks fabulous. I absolutely love that. So I bought some basics as well. This is just like a Killstar caftan top. Just because sometimes you just want to waft around in this in the evening after you've had a shower. You don't want to put anything tight on but it's not really time to wear pyjamas yet, you know. Uh, this is one of the Killstar mesh tops. Again, this is gorgeous. This with a pair of uh, these are Hell Bunny leggings, little black Hell Bunny capri pants. That is a great outfit, looks fantastic. We have another Killstar caftan and a pair of Killstar leggings here. Uh, that is from my latest Killstar video, so check that out in the corner. Uh, and we've got this beautiful Killstar mesh caftan as well. Again, these were the, for the cooler days. Haven't needed them yet. We have two new Necessary Evil dresses. So it's a Batwing front 
on the, the decolletage. We've got this beautiful bat wing detail here, a gorgeous chunky zip down the front and then into a skater style skirt. This is really, really gorgeous, really sexy. Love it, love it, love it. And the other one, this is my favourite one. I haven't even worn this out yet. I'm saving this for a date night. So this has the Necessary Evil hook and eye details at the front there. Then we have these gorgeous suspender straps at the bottom, which is so like late 90s, I love it. Adjustable bra straps again, and this sort of boning detail down the front. It's a gorgeous dress. It looks stunning on, I absolutely love it. So we've got this gorgeous hexagram top and the chiffon skirt with the hexagram skirt as well that goes together, they look amazing together. We of course have the Necessary Evil combo. We have the Batwing skirt belt with the Batwing top and the little Batwing bolero. Again, gorgeous combination. Absolutely love that. Then from the new collection, we have this gorgeous Batwing mesh. Now you could call it like an off the shoulder top or you can wear it as a skirt. On me, I think it looks weird as a skirt. I love it as an off the shoulder like drapey top, it looks fantastic. We have the Necessary Evil hook and eye vest, which I flip in love, and then these gorgeous Necessary Evil flares, which I will show you in a picture, because just me holding them up won't show them. These are gorgeous, this is a great combo, they look fantastic, and this top looks fantastic over a few other things as well. I will show you another combination that I really love. To be honest, I haven't worn an outfit twice yet though, only if I've worn it in the evening and it's still clean, so I've worn it the next day you know, dressed down a bit, but I haven't, you know, reworn an outfit yet. I have my beautiful Necessary Evil kimono. This goes with everything. It looks fantastic. I love it. I've worn that a few times. <laughs> uh, then, oh, this other Necessary Evil dress. So this is mega short on me. So we have long sleeves, then we have these cut out shoulders, this gorgeous pentagram front with the elastic straps. We've got hook and eye details at the back. We've got a handkerchief hem. It's mega short on me. It looks great. It's really short. It looks fantastic with fishnets. My poor dad. My poor dad. He looked horrified. Um, you could easily wear this with a pair of leggings or a pair of thick tights or, you know, you could wear it with um, like capri pants or capri leggings. That would look great as well. I think that will probably be how I wear it more at home because it's, if nothing else, it's just not warm enough to wear it <laughs> at home. But it's a gorgeous dress and of course, like I said, full review on those coming very soon. And uh, then I have two different boleros. I have an older Necessary Evil bolero that's got this beautiful detail here. I haven't worn this yet. And then the older Necessary Evil lace-up bolero that the Batwing one is based on. These are great, as I said, to cover your shoulders, etc. while we're here. Then I've got this gorgeous Killstar Skulls dress. I haven't worn this one yet either. And I mean, this top, I think it's from Primark. This is the, these are the anti-brand uh, high waist trousers and it's like a pointed uh, crop top. Looks great. Thought those would look fantastic with this bat wing mesh top over the top. That's a great outfit to wear together. Uh, we've got then the Necessary Evil bat wing mesh dress. Oh, this thing. This thing is gorgeous. I absolutely love this. I wear this with a very, very long vest. It's a, it's a vest dress really underneath it. This is great with a big O-ring collar. Loved that outfit when I wore that the other day. I looked really cool, really, really enjoyed that. Uh, then we have got, oh, this beautiful Necessary Evil. Uh, it's like a, a tube top dress with a beautiful back wing skirt with drapey bits on. Oh, it's beautiful. This, again, looks beautiful. Uh, at night, out with, um, it's a Creepsville belt. It's like a bat belt. Um, that looked great with that and some shoes. My gorgeous actually my brand new killstar shoes uh, i'll show you those in a sec and then in the day i wore it with um my foxblood belt uh, and the mesh off the shoulder bolero it looked very spanish actually i really really like that when i wore it out in the evening i wore it with these gorgeous new killstar fluted heeled shoes they are absolutely stunning again review will be coming on these soon i i had as soon as i saw them i had to have them i didn't even wait for a sale i just ordered them and i accessorized it with this iron fist bag love this iron fist bag it's gorgeous i'm so glad that i bought it with me because it looks fantastic with the shoes and then the final thing that we have in the wardrobe is this is a primark dress 
it's just like a basic black it's like a vest top dress like a long cami dry dress with these bits of mesh that were sewn to it it was one long skirt it was just a skirt and i cut it up into sections so that it it floats in the wind and then this is this thing is so old i bought this when i was 15 so this thing is 25 years old um and it's i mean it's so old but it's so cool it's like a full length duster shirt type thing it's got a very 90s collar it's definitely of its time and the mesh you know compared to modern mesh feels horrid but it's great so yeah absolutely love that so that is all the clothes in my wardrobe and i will show you all the other things as well so we have my original killstar heels we have my new killstar heels we have my killstar standals we have the demonia dynamite 101s which are my favorite most comfortable shoes we have my koi trainers which i used for rock fit and in case we went climbing a mountain obviously a pair of flip-flops i did have another pair but i broke them we have my chop goth x backpack we have my chop chop goth x clutch bag and we have my iron fist clutch bag and of course the obligatory kill style hat every girl needs a hat so this is the drawer i have my fox blood belt i have my crits 4666 skull belt I have my Crystal 666 Batwing belt, which looks fabulous with that Necessary Evil dress, but it, <laughs> these bits do poke you in the waist a bit. I have my Jawbreaker belt. This is brand new. This is why I bought it, because the elastic's starting to go in the other one, so I bought the new one. I have my Disturbia belt. I actually have it in both sizes with me, which was hilarious that I thought it might fit the small one while we were on holiday. There's no way I fit the small one. <laughs> so, I've eaten lots. <laughs> Then I have a, another Necessary Evil top. I filmed a video of this earlier in the morning. This looks fantastic with the flares, um, but it's too warm for this country. Um, I have many wild mode comfort tops and knickers sets and some leggings and yeah, for rock fit and for a photo shoot that I'm going to do for them while we're here. I have my rock fit gear. This is sports leggings and a sports bra and my wild mode comfort top that I wear over the top because every girl needs to try and stay fit while we're on holiday because of all the food that I'm eating. I have some Killstar leggings and then I have lots of cycling shorts, basic leggings. I have a punk rave vest top and my necessary evil halter neck top. I think this is the Minerva halter neck top. Again, I've got this to wear with some of the capri pants or one of the, um, the long skirts. I don't know, lots of little vest tops just in case I need them. I don't know why I bought this many because I like to overcomplicate things. So some of the other items that I have with me, I have my trusty Sainsbury's bikini. This was, I think the top was six pounds and the bottom was seven pounds or it might have been seven pound and eight pound. But yes, it's a little skater skirt on a pair of knickers, just, you know, makes you feel a little bit more confident around your tummy. And then the other item that I have is a Killstar bikini that I bought from Kate's Clothing just before we left. It's gorgeous, it's like a 50 style, it's got skulls on it, with these gorgeous high-waisted bottoms, and, you know, a very 50 style balconet, halter neck top style top. Looks fantastic, I will insert some pictures of me wearing them. If you want a discount at Kate's Clothing, use the code MAYHEAVY20 for a 20% discount. So that is my wardrobe tour while I am on holiday here in Lanzarote. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what your favourite combo was, how you would style some of the other things. I honestly probably bought enough clothes here for like three months. I always do this and this was me whittling it down. Honestly, there is a pile at home like that of the stuff that I left. Yeah, I have too many clothes. <laughs> so, I know you guys have been asking for a full wardrobe tour. Let me know in the comments down below how you would like me to section it up. Would you like me to do it like all my tops, all my skirts, all my dresses, something like that? I mean, I still think I would then need to try and categorise it again. They would have to be maybe like day dresses and going out dresses, or would you like like summer dresses, winter dresses? Because I have five wardrobes at home and they are all full. <laughs> so, and it's a massive chest of drawer. I have a lot of clothes, so it's an obsession. So 
If you enjoyed this, remember to leave a like, comment down below if you want to discuss any things that come up in the video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and thank you to all of you that already do. Hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload. And remember people, stay heavy.